Hello and welcome to the final video uh, coming from Chris McLeod, they, uh, aka Diagnostic 80 from the Four Force podcast for Justin Bell at General's Joe's uh, as well and it is the Marauder Snowmobile 2 pack, not the Polar Battle Bears, um, but yeah, you can get the gist. Now uh, we got a two pack of these. There was a misprint in the comic that said this was going to be a three pack when we uh, got the comic and read that through. So we instantly thought there were going to be three of these, but there were only two, which uh, it isn't, you know, not, not too much of a problem. Um, and I think that they are really cool, actually, in hand. Something when I first saw them, I, I was a little, when I first saw they were going to be in, introduced and I saw them in the comic, I was a little bit underwhelmed and thought that there were so many other vehicles that possibly could have got the Battle Force treatment. Um, the X-30 Conquest was one of those vehicles that had crossed my mind and uh, we did get that and I was very very happy with how it turned out. Uh, these again very very cool looking, um, not quite sure why we need two of them. Um, I'm guessing they were struggling for vehicles that they could kind of kit out uh, in Battle Force colours. But we, I mean, this is what we get. Now it's got a number 7 on it indicating this is the seventh vehicle in the Battle Force, apart other than the Pulverizer of course, um, but the seventh in the series that had every other Battle Force member driving and secondary, their secondary specialty was the pilot or, or, vi or driver of those vehicles. So the Pulverizer didn't have that, DJ didn't have that attached to him, um, and, but I think most people would have put DJ with the Pulverizer anyway. Um, but this now is kind of his official vehicle, in my opinion, so he's, he's got one of these. And a spare one for any of the other guys in the team who want to jump on. Now let's have a quick look at what it uh, kind of does and what, what kind of options you've got, what kind of uh, features we have. The first, obviously, is the uh, twisting skis at the front. So uh, the snowmobile power comes from the tracks at the back and this is what guides and directs it. Um, we also have the guns on the front that you can direct by pushing on the green pegs on the side, so you can go side side to side, another nice little feature. Missiles attached to the front skids, which is dangerous in all sorts of different ways, but again this is G.I. Joe, they don't care about the safe, personal safety of their soldiers. You can take the back off like so to reveal the engine which is a really nice touch and that can just pop straight back on again. Panel removal, it's even got a, a it's even got mention of it on a deco uh, and we've also got the uh, tampo sorry we've also got the US flag because of you patriots you love your American flag I'm not gonna moan about it uh, at all it's a perfectly fine. We also have the BF2K on the front, with Battle Force 2000, and seven indicating the seventh vehicle in that series of vehicles that created the the, for, the future fortress. And again, the same deck on the other side with the obviously the GI Joe and the star on the back panel, which is again is a lovely touch, really nice. Oop, nearly dropped it. The digital seven, of course, because um, obviously everything in the future is digital. And yeah, and obviously the little wheels here. In, uh, located at the bottom inside the tracks so you can actually move it forward nice and smoothly and it does have a nice action that so that's really really cool the deco obviously matching the silver blue uh, green uh, that they've been kind of going with uh, with the Battle Force 2000 and again I think they're great uh, really really dig them as you can see DJ slots in nice and comfortably and can hold the steering wheel much like all of his other uh, members of the Battle Force 2000, so you can add them on there. There's also what a couple other things, peg, pegs on the back here for uh, other members of the team to stand on, and a little um, towing little bracket on the back there, so you can connect that to other vehicles. I love that feature on G.I. Joe uh, and Action Force vehicles, the kind of little added elements that allow you to interact with other vehicles and you know adds to play play features and adds to the play value dramatically a really nice set overall i've been impressed with how this has turned out again 
a lot of people I think were a little bit concerned. I was certainly one of those people that was a little bit underwhelmed at some of the decisions made on the set and the exclusives, but overall I love the enemies, the Ultimate Enemies 2 pack. I think that is, they're, they're fantastic. I think DJ and Coruscant are, are, are superb. The Battle Bears turned out really nice, uh, aka the Marauder Snowmobiles. The Snow Serpent VTOL is an, another nice addition, another nice repaint to the Cobra ranks. The X-30 Conquest or the uh, Vector X-36 is really one of my favourite vehicles now. It's just that uh, a vehicle that I hold dear to my heart anyway. But the Deco is just so, so nice and clean and bright and I, I'm, I really enjoy that. The Laser Viper 3-pack let down a touch by the backpacks uh, and the use of Sci-Fi's weapons. The Officer was a cool touch and a, a nice addition to the Laser Viper like kind of ranks and the regiment and I believe that's everything uh, I'm probably forgetting something off the top of my head but um, obviously the, the, the box set itself um, I was really impressed with other than um, Maverick which I had a, a lot of issues with but overall, I've been really happy with this, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have been able to see some of this stuff up close now. And I hope a lot of you guys that actually have the sets have been able to kind of get them out and you look at them and just and, and well, let's let's face it, play with them. Uh, so yeah, that's the last of the videos coming through now. I will get these off to Justin, and he can post them. You guys can watch them. That's how these things work. Uh, listen to the Full Force podcast. We'll be coming up with a post -co uh, post Jocon episode um, where we'll try and get Brian and Paddy back on to talk about uh, well for Brian to talk about uh, Jocon um, and yeah so can listen out for that. Uh, keep checking Generals Joe's. Keep using Yo Jo uh, to all my wonderful people that I had a great time with at Con. I miss you guys already. Um, it's it was an absolute blast uh, for those that didn't make it there is an, one more in Chattanooga Tennessee next year you guys have to be there it will be the, probably the I think more than likely will be the last one based on uh, the fact that Hascon is going to take over um, again that's a, another discussion for another time stay tuned thanks for watching this video and i've been chris mcleod aka diagnostic 80 of the full force thank you very much yo joe full force peace out <laughs>